work out which set of individual blocks joins together to make the figure on the left. Some of the blocks may need to be rotated. In order to answer this question, we're going to consider this figure and think about how it may have been constructed. The right combination of blocks to create the figure will be represented by only one of these five answer options. To help us choose correctly, let's take a closer look at the figure and think about how it's been constructed. The figure may have been constructed using blocks like this. Firstly, you can see that this is very likely to be an L-shaped block. Remember, in the answer options, the blocks may appear in different orientations to that which they adopt in the figure itself. Look at this T-shaped block and see if you can identify where that could be in the figure. The T-shape, of course, could be positioned so that the longer section was towards this part of the figure, with the shorter section pointing upwards like this. That would mean that this would be a cuboid like this, directly in front of this part of the T-shape. This would also be a cuboid in exactly the same position on the other side of the T. Another cuboid would sit like this. Of course, this could also be a longer cuboid, directly underneath an L-shaped block like this. There are many different ways that this figure could be composed. These are just some of the examples. When we reconsider those five answer options, we should bear in mind that sections of the figure which are not very clear could be constructed in more than one way. Let's now reconsider those five answer options and try to decide which one of them is correct. In option A, as you can see, we have three cuboids, which are all the same size, and two L-shaped blocks. This, of course, could be one of the L-shaped blocks, and this could be the other, sitting in this orientation. That would mean the three cuboids would be positioned like this, so you might have felt that A was the right answer. However, consider the fact that that would mean that this section of the L-shaped block would have nothing directly underneath it. All parts of the blocks must be properly supported, and because this cuboid isn't directly underneath this section of this L-shaped block, A cannot be correct. In option B, there is a T-shaped block, and if you recall, we said the T-shaped block could be used in this part of the figure, in this orientation. Then we have an L-shaped block, which is the block here, and three cuboids. Of course, this section of the T-shaped block would be behind this cuboid, with the other two cuboids positioned here. That means that B could be the right answer. In option C, we have two L-shaped blocks, and they of course could be here and here. We also have a longer cuboid, which could be positioned here, with part of it underneath this section of the L-shaped block. But that would leave a cuboid like this and a cube, and as you can see, we would need two cuboids to complete the figure properly. C, therefore, cannot be correct. In option D, we have the T-shaped block, which we know could fit towards the back. But then we have this longer L-shaped block. The T-shaped block can only be fitted into one position in the figure, and that would mean that this longer L-shaped block would not fit properly. This is a shorter L-shaped block like this, not a longer one like this. D can be eliminated. In option E, you can see we have a C-shaped block like this. Although you may feel that these two sections belong to that C-shaped block, consider the remaining part of the figure. As you can see, we would need to have a line across here to denote a block in this position. Furthermore, these two sections are much longer than the sections shown in the C-shaped block here. E, therefore, can be eliminated. This is the incorrect collection of blocks to create the figure properly. It means that option B was indeed the right answer here. In B, the blocks could be put together to create the figure. This is a T-shaped block. This is an L-shaped block. This block, this one and this one are therefore cuboids all in the same orientation. This means that B is the correct answer here. Top tip. Imagine taking the collection of blocks apart or rotating it around so you can see the back sections. How many blocks could there be? 
you should be able to eliminate any answer options which do not contain the right number or right sorts of blocks. Now you can try a second similar question. Remember, work out which set of individual blocks joins together to make the figure on the left. Some of the blocks may need to be rotated. In order to answer this second similar question, you're going to consider this figure. Think about how that figure has been constructed. The right combination of blocks is represented by one of the five answer options. So when you're ready, pause the video and try to work out which combination of blocks could be put together to create the figure. You should try to do that within 30 seconds and when you've finished working, resume the video and we'll check the answer together. In order to answer this question accurately, let's take a closer look at the figure and think about how it may have been constructed. Of course, there are several different ways that this figure might have been constructed. Here are some of the blocks which may have been used. Firstly, as you can see, this is clearly an L-shaped block. This could be another L-shaped block sitting underneath it. Here is another L-shaped block. This could be a longer cuboid towards the back of the figure. This could be another L-shaped block like this. This could also be a cuboid. Remember, all parts of the blocks must be fully supported, so if this was a cuboid, it would sit underneath this section of that L-shape. There is also a possibility that this type of block could be used in the figure. Look very closely. This section of the block could be the back section here, with this section being the top part like this. That would mean that this L-shaped block would be resting on this section of that block. Then we would have an L-shaped block like this with a cube supporting this section. So there are several different ways that this figure could be composed. Let's remember that as we now reconsider those five answer options. In option A, as you can see, we have three L-shaped blocks and two cuboids. One L-shaped block, of course, could be here, with the second one here. The third L-shaped block could be positioned here, underneath this one. The two cuboids in A, however, would not successfully complete this figure. One of them could be in this orientation, but as you can see, this one is in this orientation and it wouldn't be fully supported. These two blocks could be moved away from the figure, leaving this L-shape with the two cuboids. If this was a cuboid, it would partially support the other cuboid, but the remaining part of it would be unsupported. A, therefore, cannot be correct. In option B, we have a block like this, two L-shaped blocks like this, and another one like this. There are different ways that these blocks might fit together in this figure. First of all, consider this block in this orientation so that it fits towards the centre of the figure. That would mean one of the shorter L-shaped blocks would be here and another one would be here. But then we wouldn't be able to fit this L-shaped block into the figure at all. If this block was in this orientation like this and was in this position, then this would need to be a cube. There is no cube in B. It means that however we try to fit those blocks together, we will always find a problem. We cannot create this figure with these blocks, so B can be eliminated. In option C, once again, we have a block like this. Remember, it could be in this orientation. That would mean this would need to be a cube, and we do have a cube here. We would perhaps need another cube here, which is present in C. The L-shaped block here is this one here, but then we wouldn't be able to fit this L-shaped block in as well. Imagine a slightly different construction. If this and this were both part of this longer L-shaped block and this was the shorter one, with this block being this one, then we would need a cube to be positioned here and we would also need a cuboid to be positioned here. There are only two cubes in C, not a cube and a cuboid. Therefore, there is no arrangement of these blocks which would work properly to create this figure and C can be eliminated. In option D, there is a T-shaped block. 
That T-shaped block could be positioned here, with an L-shaped block sitting on top of it. Another L-shaped block could be positioned here. However, we would then need a shorter cuboid to be in this position, and we only have a longer cuboid in D. Although that longer cuboid could be positioned here towards the back of the figure, we still require a further block to complete the figure properly. D, therefore, is incorrect. In option E, once again we have this shape of block. Let's propose that that shape of block is positioned here, in this orientation, and that this longer L-shaped block starts here and ends here, with the shorter L-shaped block positioned like this. This cuboid would sit on top of this section of that longer L-shaped block, with the cube in front like this. That means that option E could be the right answer. All of those blocks appear to go together properly to create the figure. This block is a block like this, in this orientation, and that would mean that this block would of course have to be a cube. This block is one of the longer L-shaped blocks, starting here and ending here, with a shorter L-shaped block wrapped around it. That would mean that this block is a cuboid. All of those blocks are present in E. E, therefore, is the right answer to this question. Top tip. Look closely at how the figure is composed. Focus on the blocks which you can easily identify first, and then look at the blocks which might be trickier. Some may be single blocks, but they could also be combinations of two or three others. Eliminate any answer options which contain incorrect numbers or types of blocks.